Breaking news. United States Ambassador to Cameroon His Excellency Peter Barlarin has condemned calls to violence and hate speech emanating from some Cameroonians based in the United States of America. He was speaking on Friday in Yaoundé while handing over two new aircrafts to the Cameroonian Defense Forces to help fight Boko Haram in the far north region. He thus used the opportunity to call for an end to violence on both sides and engage in constructive dialogue as a solution to the crisis. With respect to tensions in Anglophone regions, we have consistently called for an end to violence and urged all sides to initiate a broad-based dialogue, without preconditions, Ambassador Peter Barlarin said. We Americans hold very close to our hearts the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which protects freedom of speech. He however stressed freedom of speech should not entail hate speech and called for Cameroonians in the U.S. to refrain from such acts. We condemn hate speech and calls to violence such as that emanating from a very tiny minority of Cameroonian-born individuals living in the United States. The fact is, whether they agree with the government here or not, and many of them do not, the vast majority of the Cameroonian diaspora living in the United States, Anglophone or Francophone, are peaceful. They are incredibly constructive and proud members of society. And we value, I personally value, their contributions. Speaking on the donation of the 2C208 Cessna which cost 24 billion CFA, the ambassador stressed the need for the Cameroonian military to use it fight against Boko Haram and D not for other battlefields. Breaking news. United States Ambassador to Cameroon His Excellency Peter Barlarin has condemned calls to violence and hate speech emanating from some Cameroonians based in the United States of America. He was speaking on Friday in Yaoundé while handing over two new aircrafts to the Cameroonian Defense Forces to help fight Boko Haram in the far north region. He thus used the opportunity to call for an end to violence on both sides and engage in constructive dialogue as a solution to the crisis. With respect to tensions in Anglophone regions, we have consistently called for an end to violence and urged all sides to initiate a broad-based dialogue, without preconditions, Ambassador Peter Barlarin said.